What's up guys, this is Max Square and I am back with a new video. Today I'm going to be sharing my favorite free design resources, so stick around. So I put together a list of eight free design resources that you can use whether you are a designer or you have no idea what you're doing and you are looking for some free resources. So the first tool is called Coolers and this is a really quick and easy way to generate a color palette. So if you head over to coolers.co you can start the generator and it'll take a second to load but once it's up you'll see that it immediately populates with five different colors. Now you can customize these and everything, but if you don't like those colors, you can just hit spacebar and it'll reload. Now let's say you really like this red and this blue, you can come down and toggle the lock. That way next time you hit spacebar, it'll actually keep those two colors in place. Now there's a lot that this tool can do, like uploading photos and it can actually pull all the colors from that photo and generate a palette. You can browse other people's palettes, you can even create gradient palettes where you put in two colors and it fills it in with different options in between. But the most important thing is it's really easy to keep track of. You'll see that the URL up here actually updates with the hex codes. So you can actually copy and paste this URL and share it with your team or just write it down in a note. And if you come over here to export, you can save it as a PDF, an image, and a couple other different formats. Number two, we have Unsplash Source. Now a lot of people are probably familiar with Unsplash or at least the concept of free stock photos. Unsplash is an amazing resource for that. But what you may not know is that you can actually type in source.unsplash.com and you can generate a URL to pull for placeholder images or whatever you would need. So for example, we can copy this URL they have here and we can just hit random and you'll see as I put that in there, it puts in this image. If I paste it in again, it pulls in another one. You can also add a dimension, so if you want a square photo, you could put 800 and then put an X and 800 again, and you'll see it generates a photo in a square dimension. Now there's a couple different parameters like the category of photos, pulling from a uh, certain collection or even a specific user, but it's really helpful to just put in if you're working on a design or just making a presentation for a client even just to have some nice placeholder image. Number three, we have Graphic Burger. Now, I think I've mentioned this site on my channel before, and unfortunately, it's not super updated. I think the last post was uh, just about two years ago, but there's still a ton of really useful resources on here. You can see there's some Instagram story templates, some icons, some logo templates, and you can filter them pretty easily. You just go to mockups if you wanna look for mockups, if you're looking for some icons, or if you're looking for like a presentation template, you can type in that and you'll see the results there. Again, it's not very updated, but there's still a lot of good stuff you could pull from. Number four, we have Undraw. Now this is essentially the unsplash of illustrations and vector designs. As you can see, there's basically just a ton of different scenes with people and certain objects in there, and you can actually change the color at the top if you come up to here and you want a red option, green, or if you have a custom brain color, you can throw that in there. If you wanna search for something, maybe like a workspace, and you'll get a couple people working at a desk. Now you may not always get a ton of results, but it's a really good placeholder, even if you're planning on replacing it later. And if you click on it, you can download that as an SVG, which is a vector or basically a scale to whatever size you want and don't lose quality format. Or you can also download a PNG if you're used to that. Number five, we have freedesignresources.net and this has a ton of really cool resources. You can see there's some mockups, fonts, and very similar to Graphic Burger, but it is definitely more updated. Number six, we have freebiesbug.com, and this is more for web design and kind of user interface design. So you'll see a lot of things like typography or fonts and a bunch of icons, different mockups. There's also a lot of landing page templates. You also see on the left that you can filter by application. So maybe you don't own Photoshop, but you do own Sketch. You can just browse all the resources for that, which is super helpful because sometimes you can find a really cool resource or like a really cool mockup or something, but it's like only for Photoshop or it's only for Sketch and you don't have that app. So that's a useful tool there. They also have some stock photos, which will take you to another website and you can browse that there. And then they have an inspiration page where you can view other people's designs. And if you're just starting on a project, it's a really cool way to pull some ideas and get a good direction. 
Number six, we have Figma. Now you may be familiar with this, but this is essentially a web app that you can use to build out mockups, you can build web designs, you can even do graphic design in it. And it's really cool because it's 100% free and you can work collaboratively where you leave comments for each other and view a document at the same time kind of like Google Docs. One of the companies I work really closely with uses Figma almost exclusively. So I've had to use it a lot for our web designs and some of our mockups. And as a designer coming from Illustrator, Sketch, Adobe XD, I haven't found too many obstacles when I've been using it. Now it's a really powerful tool, but there's a ton of really cool templates like this wireframe template here, which is really easy to like click and drag and drop in your own content. If you're just trying to mock something up really quick for a client, but I'm gonna do a whole bunch of videos on this in the future. Now lastly, we have a Mac app called Color Slurp. Now this is a really useful color picker for your computer. So you can actually go onto anywhere on your screen and just click a button and it'll actually pick that exact color and copy it to your clipboard. So you can download this in the App Store and it just lives in your menu bar. You'll see it's this little square here. So if we go ahead and click on it, you'll see it pulls up all of your recent colors and it usually has a history of about four or five, but you can also create different collections if you have certain brand colors that you don't want to always have to go and find. And you'll see you have all the different formats there, but if that's too complicated, you can just come up to this little square icon and just say copy to hex or RGB, and you can just copy it and paste it wherever you need it. Now, if you right click on it or two finger click on a trackpad, you can actually instantly pull up that color picker and pick anything on the screen and you'll hear that little sound come up and that's actually fully customizable. You can turn that off or change it. But this is a really useful tool. There is a paid, I use this tool every day and it's really cool to me that it's free because there are paid versions of this app that have a ton of features that I wouldn't really use, but having it free and I can install it on, on any device is super useful. So there you guys have it, eight free design resources that you can add into your workflow. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.